It's a life hack. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Hi, if you're still watching this video, even after that incredibly pointless intro, now I'm just tired <laughs> and out of breath. <laughs> then let me tell you about five simple things that you can do to make your art workspace better. Little disclaimer, you may already know some of these things or they may not apply to you, but I tried to pick some of the things that throughout the many years, the many, many years of me doing art, <laughs> I have found to be pretty convenient, so I hope you will enjoy. Let's get into them. The first life hack is for my fellow tablet users, and it's actually for your drawing tablet gloves. If you only have one, you can use a simple clothespin to hold it up and use some double-sided tape to put it up on the wall or on the hutch of your desk. This way, it doesn't take up unnecessary space on your desk and you're not throwing it around and swallowing on the floor and getting dirty, and you always know where they are when you need them. If you use more than one drawing tablet glove, you can actually get a bigger clip like this. I got this one from Target, and that way you can hold them all. And it's just really convenient for whenever you need to just grab one and go and start working on your art. And it keeps them clean, keeps them in order. I find it to be very convenient. The next life hack is for any artist with the oh-so-magical art cart. <laughs> Popular on uh, social media, and for some reason, a lot of artists have them. I have one too. They're an incredibly convenient, nice way to store your things. And I found that I was getting really annoyed by just like how much tape I have. And also I have a lot of ribbon and stuff like that. So I needed a way to like kind of keep them organized, but also not take up too much space in the art cart. I used to pile them up and that was just really bulky and annoying. So what I ended up doing was buying these cheap little dowels that you get from Michaels or Home Depot. They're super cheap. This is so much better than having them all piled up because that's just it just takes up a lot of space and it gets really in the way. It also makes it super easy to see what tape or ribbon you want, so it, it's just, it puts them on display and then you can actually use the tape that you want because you can actually find it when you need it. The next little life hack is super easy and it'll actually save your desk. I started doing this around the holidays, not this past year, the year before. So what I did was I got plain wrapping paper with just like a really simple design, nothing festive for holidays or anything like that, just the simplest design that I could find. I taped the wrapping paper over my desk and just, it's, re it's really easy. It's just that, that simple and my desk has remained perfectly clean since I got it because I did this. So I put my paint, like I paint over it and I s s spilled orange juice on it because I'm a human being and I spill things sometimes. I also like to write little quotes on it. I think that's just a little cute thing that you can do and I can always mix it up whenever I change them. And changing them is actually the best part about this little life hack is that once it gets too dirty or covered in paint, you just simply remove it, throw it away, dispose of it as you wish, sell it. I don't really know, whatever you want to do. That's really your prerogative. You do what you want. And then you just put another one on it and then boom. Amazing. You just you just saved your desk. Your desk is now safe. And that's that's not something that a lot of artists can say. Okay, I'm not sure if this one's a hundred percent a life hack and more so just like a this makes my life very convenient which I guess is the definition of a life hack, so I'm including it here. It's a bit crazy, but this. Ah, and the leaves fall and the birds sing. Okay, so this is really random, but this tiny little bottle makes my life so much easier when I'm painting or just all around. Like, it, I, I can't really explain how useful this is. It, it comes from a set at Michaels, it's super cheap, it has like this little cap and I use it to activate my gouache and my watercolor and I also will put uh, water on my palette when I need to or if I have like a little jar for like dipping my brush in, like for cleaning it, I can just pour water from here so I don't have to get up and go to the sink and come back because we're artists, we're lazy, productive, smart. It's funny because it's relatable and you might just say something like, use a water bottle or something or get up and don't be lazy and for the second one I would say mind your own business for the first one I would say yeah you could use a water bottle but this one is really convenient because you, you can basically put exactly the amount of water you want and you won't spill water all over your desk and break all of your things and mess up all of your artwork. I mean I guess you technically could but it's just easier to use okay simple stop complaining why are you arguing with me and you're probably not 
Maybe you're agreeing with me. Maybe you already bought it. I don't know. Someone is arguing with me, because this is the internet. Somebody is arguing with me. Alright, so the last life hack is a way to organize your sketchbooks. Sketchbooks are annoying. They're annoying to keep organized because there's a lot and they build up and there's just too many things. It's too much. You don't want to throw it away because it's my art. I use these bins from places like Home Goods to store them upright and under my desk. It fits a lot of sketchbooks and makes it very easy to grab them when you need one. I'm gonna throw in a little bonus hack here and it's basically to just label your sketchbooks. Yeah, it seems obvious, but that doesn't mean everybody does it. So those are my life hacks. If you actually end up using any of them, send me a photo on Twitter or Instagram and also follow my socials while you're at it for some more cool kid content. Thank you so much for watching. So, bye! Sis! This.